Hey everyone, today's video is going to be on my top 5 favorite slingshot designs. A couple things I need to mention before we get started is a disclaimer is that I am not affiliated with or sponsored by any of the manufacturers or sellers of these particular designs. These are my opinion based solely on my experience with how they feel and how they shoot. Also, I'm going to mention a couple variants of various frames to be included uh, when I talk about a particular design. Also, uh, since these are my top five, it's something that I am quite passionate about as I do have numerous frames uh, that I do shoot regularly. Uh, but these are my top five, so you can expect this to be a potentially longer than normal video. So if you're still with me and ready to hear my opinion, let's go ahead and get started. I'll kick this down so you can see the frames a little better and not have to stare at me. So of course, no video of mine about any favorite frames would be complete without discussing the Maxim by Simple Shot. This is the second or third commercial frame that I ever purchased that is not a wrist rocket type frame. Uh, this was purchased exclusively to be a loop tube shooter and I have gone through numerous sets of loop tubes on this frame. Uh, some things I like about this design is it's very flat and pocketable, can easily sit in a back pocket or a bug out bag or something else. It's uh, HDPE, very durable. The design itself is fantastic. My hands wrap around this very nice with a slim waist. I love the uh, trumpet style handle here. And this is just a very comfortable frame. I shoot this very often. Uh, so here's what I'm going to speak briefly about some of the variants as well. So the uh, Silver Shop partner, Lee Silva, has also created a couple of Maxim variants. The first one being the Silva Modified Maxim. A few things you notice here, of course, that looks different. Uh, this has a little bit different feel to it. It has a palm swell, where this one does not. And this uses the ocularis style band attachment. It does not have a slot for loop tubes. And this is also slightly more ergonomic. Very, very comfortable to have in the back pocket with that with that bend in it. Shoots very well. Also one thing I forgot to mention earlier is all of these frames are either purchased by me or acquired via trade. Uh, some of these were included as gifts uh, and if they were a gift I will mention that when I discuss that frame as well. The next frame that's also maximum inspired is the ring ring. Uh, the only thing that's different with this one is the lack of a palm swell and it uses a down cone style attachment method for flats or tubes. Then this next frame I acquired via a trade. I tried to get one of these. Uh, this was released about the same time as the Ring Raven, and I opted to go with the Ring Raven rather than having a second modified Maxim. A couple of differences between this and the Gen 1 modded Maxim is this has a di slightly different palm swell, added a pinky swell here, and the hole for the ocular style attachment is slightly larger for different plugs. Now I know you're going to mention something in the comment section below about the tabs being too long, blah blah blah. The reason behind that is, as I mentioned, I achieved this as a trade and it included the, the band set on here. So I'm trying to still work out if I want to shoot this with my normal anchor point or if I want to have the bands a little longer to shoot a partial butterfly. I'm still working on that. The good thing with the ocular style attachment of the plugs is I can easily change the length of the tubes, so I'm playing around with this one quite a bit. So here is easily my favorite design. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit because the Maxim and all these variants, I include all this in this Maxim design. This next design is also is tied for my first place spot. That being said, the next frame is the Cthulhu from Metrograde Goods. This thing is absolutely fantastic. This can easily be held pinch grip th or thumb support over the top or through the forks. Uh, we have here I have some tabs on here to shoot to shoot uh, single tubes. Uh, I got this idea for the tabs doing this way from um, Pepper Mac at Cracked Pepper Catapults. I absolutely love the Cthulhu. I've often said the only thing that could make this frame better was that if it had a slot to accept looped tubes. I understand Metro's reason for not doing that. Didn't want to step on, on any toes of other uh, designers. Completely understand, completely agree with that. But having wanting to be able to shoot loop tubes from the Cthulhu and not wanting to mess up the only one I have, 
I ordered a second one. And modified the tips to accept loop tubes. So these, this is one of my absolute favorite designs. A uh, couple of the variants. Now, if you've followed any of Metro's works, you know that this is in a, a line of uh, different frames that have this very similar shape, just different sizes. And this actually came out third of the uh, designs, but I'm including this one as my top because of the size similarities with the Maxim and everything else. And let's face it, I love the other sizes as well. In fact, so much so that here's a Kraken that I asked Joe right to modify for me to accept his uh, binding post method. So there's my Kraken. I also have a Generation 1 Hydra. Generation 1 because it doesn't have the holes in the fork tips in HDPE. I also have this metal core hydra with the tips with the, for the slots for either loop tubes or simple small loop and single tubes. And no collection would be complete without the tab and tapped hydra. So as you can tell, I absolutely love this design in all of its sizes. And that's why this is tied for my top slot because this is a simply amazing design. Fits the hands very well. Doesn't matter if it's the smallest in the Hydra. Even with my large hands, this fits very snugly. I can easily shoot this thumb support or finger or pinch grip, which I do quite often on both styles. Absolutely fantastic design on the, on the Hydra Kraken Cthulhu. Doesn't matter which one you want to call it, but I absolutely love this one. Tied for first place with the Maxim. And if that gives you any indication, that's saying a lot. The next version of or the next frame, and, and these next ones are in no particular order. Uh, kind of already alluded to this slightly with the attachment method, and that is the forget about it from Yoshi Your Eye Out. This frame absolutely melts in your hands. If you're looking at this thinking, well, that's kind of bizarre. It, it kind of is, but it's extremely comfortable. Pinky goes right through that hole right there. It's the only frame I've seen that has a pinky go through this way and not around. Uh, love the binding post method attachment. Obviously, that's why I asked you sure you have to do it on another frame for me. Easy to switch from over the top to through the fork. The only complaint I had after I purchased this frame and received it from the shoot your eye out was uh, I have large hands, as I'm sure you've probably noticed, and I don't usually take off my wedding ring when I shoot. So after a little bit, this becomes a little uncomfortable because it kind of pinches. There's not a place for it to go. So I, I was talking to him one day and said, you know, I absolutely love this design. My only complaint is that I have to take off my wedding ring for long uh, shooting sessions. To which he responded by creating a newer version of the FUG for what he dubbed as Banana Hands. So here is the Banana Hands version of the Forget About It with top slots. So at this frame, it has a little, little bit more taken out down here. I can easily grab this, keep my wedding ring on, and shoot this frame all day long. It's absolutely phenomenal. This can be shot in, it's generally designed to be shot in pinch grip, but if you have a hitch or thumb like I do, you can also shoot this in thumb support. And I've shot it both ways. Both ways are fantastic. I love this frame. This is, again, phenomenal design. The next frame uh, is something by Peppermac, and that is the Hexatry. This is the original Hexatry that Peppermac made when he, when he, both he and uh, Metrograde came up with this design. Absolutely phenomenal. I consider myself extremely lucky to have the very first Hexatry. Uh, I acquired this one through a trade, and I was speaking with Peppermac about the uh, about this design and how much I loved it, and I carried this one with me everywhere I went for months on end. Uh, then he and I were talking, and next thing I know, uh, he had my address from a, a previous purchase I, that I got from him. Uh, next thing I know, we're talking about uh, the frame, and a little bit later, this one shows up in my mailbox as a gift. Uh, and this thing has been with me ever, every day since I received it. The only time that this frame is not in my pocket is if it's on my desk while I'm working, or if it is in a suitcase because I'm flying somewhere for work. But this is my constant companion. I absolutely love this frame. Slightly different palm swell and, and pinky swell, 
but uh, so this one was given to me as a gift from from Peppermac. I absolutely love this frame. Of course, I also have a Exitry made by none other than Metrograde Goods. This one uh, you'll notice is TTF. This one uses a clip system for the uh, band attachment or tubes. This is a TTF only, and some light different that Metro did was added these little nubs in here to hold it for TTF. Completely changed the, the comfort on this um, for TTF shooting. I love the hex drive over the top, uh, but this with the TTF, with these uh, with the bolts, neck bolts here, absolutely fantastic. I love shooting this thing. Uh, this is in my desk drawer or close by most of the time. And of course I did say there were going to be five, but I cheated. So there's there's the five different designs, but I'm cheating. Because if you remember, my, uh, the Cthulhu is tied with the Maxim. So my fifth frame, or honorable mention, depending on how you want to look at it, is going to be this frame from Cracked Pepper Catapults, or Pepper Mac. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if it's actually in production or not, um, or if this is simply a one-off or one-of-a-kind frame. When I got this from Pepper Mac, and this one was uh, also given to me as a gift uh, from Pepper Mac himself. Uh, I was looking at it, I said, you know, I want to get one similar to this, and he, he had recently got this back from the individual he sold it to, and he offered to uh, to sell it to me, to which I jumped at. And the next thing I know, he said, bag it, I'm just going to send it to you anyway. Uh, so I received this as a gift from Pepper Mac. Uh, one thing I love with this frame is the, the fork gap is extremely comfortable, has the same palm and pinky swell at it on here. These is, this is made out of Moonglow and G10. Fits my hands extremely well. Um, you know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that Pepper or uh, Pepper Mac did design this frame with my hand in in mind. But I know that's not true. Uh, extremely comfortable to hold. Has a modified wave attachment method where the bands go over the top uh, rather than through the through the front and back. Uh, extremely comfortable to hold. I love the wave, and I just realized I misspoke. This is uh, this is number. That I've talked, I'm talking about here. There's another frame that I want to mention as well. So here is kind of the one-off, or um, or it has been dubbed by Metro, the Muscle Man. Love this thing. The last frame, and I mentioned earlier, this is in no particular order, is this fantastic three-trick pony. I love this design. If you're looking at this now, going, hey, that looks like a lot like the Mule or the SPS. I'm not sure which frame came first, the Mule or SPS. The reason that this looks so similar is because this was inspired by those frames. It has the different waist here than the SPS, very similar to the Mule. Definitely shorter higher than the Mule. Uh, but this does have the, and the reason this is called the three trick pony is because there are three different ways to attach either flats or tubes. Of course, you can do loop tubes. Let me take this off here real fast. You can get a little better look at the tips has a wave attachment method, so I can do single tubes like I did on the uh, Muscle Man. I can do wrap and tuck for flats, or I can also do a otter style attachment method with a ball and tube holding in the flats on this frame. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Uh, very comfortable to hold. Fits my hands very well. Just It's extremely comfortable. Love this thing. Yeah, I may have to see if I can get a different one of this because I don't want to mess up the uh, this curly koa scale on here. But I absolutely love this thing. Um, also, one thing I forgot to mention with the Cthulhu earlier is I love that design so much that I am actually commissioning a custom build from Metrograde Goods to have one made out of G10 yeah, with his clip system that he used on this Hexatry, but more for over the top or through the fork. So here, um, again, in, in no particular order beyond the Maximum Cthulhu are my favorite frames. Kind of a recap. The Three Trick Pony, the Muscle Man from Cracked Pepper Catapults, Metric Goods, of course, the Forget About It from You Shoot Your Eye Out, either in the Banana Hands version or regular. I shoot both very often. The Hexatry, the Cthulhu, 
and, of course, the Maxim. So as I mentioned, this is going to be a longer video because I am talking about my five favorite designs that I'm obviously very passionate about or they wouldn't be my top five. But here they are. And if you notice, a couple similarities between the uh, the Maxim and the Three Trick Pony and the Cthulhu is the fork gap is relatively the same. Also here with the Muscle Man, they all have about the same fork gap. Uh, so they all fit my hands similarly, and they're just absolutely fantastic. These frames work for me. Of course, they may not work for everybody, but again, this is my opinion, and these are my top five. Of course, there are other designs that I absolutely love, that I shoot very often, um, but these are my absolute favorite frames. That's why I have the Curly Co. 3 Trick Pony, and I've asked. I may have to look at getting a different one, and I have a couple versions of the, the Forget About It. Uh, I'm getting a custom Cthulhu made. I want to get a custom Maxim, and this frame is just so bizarre and comfortable. It's awesome. Anyway, if you're still with me, thanks for watching. I, uh, again, apologize for being slightly longer than normal. But as I mentioned, these are my top five favorites, and I am kind of passionate about them. So again, thanks for watching. Pick yourself up one of these frames if you can, or something similar, and go out and do some shooting.